So it, it's interesting in the sense that it seems like the general public loves any sort of legal show, legal drama. Uh, I think Judge Judy is one of the highest paid women on on, on television, as you describe in the book. Exactly. And yet the legal industry as a whole does not have the best reputation. So I'm curious, why do you think that is? I think many reasons. I think to a certain extent, we are set up for failure because you mentioned shows like Suits, Ali McBeal, The Practice. And I think, you know, justice is quick in those cases. Justice is normally served. No one's talking about the bills or the long hours or the, the stresses. And I think clients often come to us at some of the most uh, challenging times in their life. They're, you know, someone's been in a catastrophic accident or they're going through a divorce or they've been charged with a, a crime. So often they're coming to us at these, these challenging times in their life. They have high expectations often set up by TV. And I think the realities of the profession can be hard hitting for people. What, you mean it's not going to be resolved right away? You mean it's going to cost me how much? And I think also sometimes just the media is just false in their portrayal of lawyers. I talk about it in the book, McDonald's coffee lawsuit. You mention that to most people. Well, that's crazy. She, she spilled coffee on her and she got millions. You know, I talk about the, the real facts of that case. And there have been hundreds of burns. The temperature McDonald's was serving coffee, as alleged in that case, would cause burns in, burns in just a matter of seconds. And ultimately, the, the, the awards was in the hundreds of thousands, not in the millions. And certainly, we have problems in our profession, but the McDonald's coffee lawsuit is not one of them. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. I know in the book, you describe that, you know, when you're watching this on TV, you see someone that, you know, they meet the client, then they go straight to trial, then they have some, you know, amazing outcome, with, you know, with the jury, and then that's it, it ends. But they, no one talks about the marketing meetings and operations and developing the firm's culture and all the things that happen in between and like the time spent working on the case and, and all of those different challenges that arise that that really is the reality of the profession so so what do you do about that like how do you essentially bridge the gap between what you know what consumers or even the general public believes their experience should be with a lawyer and then what you know what it is i think two ways i think number one is within as lawyers um how do we treat our clients i think managing client expectations you know, I do civil litigation and clients are often shocked to learn only about 1% of civil cases go to trial. So the chances of even going to trial are very slim. Managing their expectations, this is going to be a long process. It could be an expensive process. Giving them the budget from the outside, keep at the outset, keeping them informed about what's happening um, in the case. And then the second branch, like I said, is educating the public. Who is the public? It's our friends. It's our family. Um, it's It's... Our, our colleagues and so getting the word out about the profession almost all lawyers i know they're good people most people become lawyers because they want to do good they want to serve their clients they want to dispense justice so i think we need to try and bridge that gap between the perception and the reality